Well, we are Europe One. We are a borderless bank that's on your phone, in your pocket, wherever you go. Put yourself in the mindset of not having a bank account. I think it's a bit difficult to do if you're used to having financial services. Without a bank account, you cannot get a job. It's hard to get paid. Getting a flat is almost impossible and sending money back home, your choices will be Western Union or MoneyGram and you're going to be spending somewhere between 6 and 14% to support the loved ones at home. This of course is not good enough. Um, we did a study with about 500 customers to figure out how big this problem really is, how many people it really affects and what the issues are. And we asked them what they'd like to have. Here's what they would like to have. It's not that difficult. Please, please give me an account anywhere. And that's 65% of all Europeans changing country. In fact, it happened to me moving back to Austria just recently. The next thing is they, of course, would like a bank account that works for them across Europe. They'll have a flat back home, a family back home to support. That means I need to pay a bill, like a Romanian utility bill out you know, out of the UK or out of Germany. Try that with your HSBC account. Good luck, yeah? And of course, how good, let's say, is a German banking app if I don't speak German? Was ist eine Überweisung? To a Romanian, this is a word he'll never understand. He can't even use his bank account once he gets one. So, what are we building? Well, exactly that. We will be able to open you a bank account that's on your phone with just a passport. We will, when you call us, we'll ask you, hey, who do you support back home? Is it your wife, your mother, your daughter? And we will issue them debit cards to your account. So the next time they need money, you just make it available because that's instant and it's a lot cheaper than uh, the Western Union or MoneyGram. And you don't have to stand in line in the cold rain either. We do support cash. That's always important. And we launch in Germany. The reason we launch in Germany this market is twice as big as the UK. It accepts around 720,000 customers, a year, uh, 720,000 people a year. And of course, it's also a lot less competitive. We have many fewer competitors in this space. And it's all secured by a German bank, BIW, who is here today, and we're very happy about that. They will let us leverage the infrastructure so we don't have to build that again. We already have an app, so this is currently in development, so we are building this. Our developers are here as well. They would love to give you a tour uh, in the break. Uh, we will be have cool features such as, please, please, dad, send me money. So uh, if you need some money, you can bug your dad with it. I think that's really going to drive the thing. Now, of course, you need a team that can do this. So we have, uh, they're all around here, a wonderful team. We've all been in FinTech before. We've all been in startups before. You can see it in our ages, maybe. Um, we know technology and we know banking. And I can tell you, we've also exited from several startups in a successful way. So we've done it before and we're gonna do it again. But let's be honest, you also need a team of advisors that support you on a number of, of fronts, right? This is a B2C brand. So who do we have? Ricky Knox from Tandem, who you might know, is gonna help us get the best deal from VCs. Frank Schwab has built the most innovative bank in the world, a couple of years running. He's going to help us with product and some connect, uh, co connections in Germany. David Scheel, who has introduced me so nicely, uh, is the marketer to Avis uh, and Intel worldwide. So I think he knows what he's doing. And Dayan is the money supermarket.com of Romania and Bulgaria, some of our core markets. Quick point about the opportunity. We're talking about 30 million Europeans. This is like the current account market of Germany. It's the entire retail banking of the Netherlands. It's a huge amount of money that's been left on the table. And our customers, uh, you know, are good customers. And one thing more thing I want to say about this, we are growing at 10% per year, this number of customers. How good of a customer? 900 euros, good margins. And it's not a no-cost bank because our customers are actually used to paying something. This then begs the question, well, how much is it going to get you, cost you to get a customer? And I, I can tell you, we just did tests. 
uh, we can get those customers for 20 euros. Why 20 euros? Well, because if you market in Romanian in Germany, that space is relatively empty. Try to market to an English person in England for a British bank, you're looking at 200 to 400 euros. So I can acquire, and I've, there's a tested number, customers for 20 euros, and uh, I have a really good, long, sticky customer that can stay with us when he changes country in the future. Why are we here today? We just closed the oversubscribed, actually, our angel round yesterday, and as of today, we are seeking seed funding. Uh, we have the bank in place, we have the technology in place, we have the marketing in place, we have the team in place. They are all here and you can talk to them. We are looking for 1.3 million, that will get us to a beta stage where we can actually do the transactions in the real world and we launch on 7-2017. Thank you very much and we are now open for questions.